Hello. Hello. Start. Um, to start, I what I really liked about this movie is the slow progression that we get to see of Elodie kind of like come into her intelligence and figure out ways that she can kind of ex escape the situation that she finds herself in. Was that always important for you to kind of make sure we as the audience see the like wheels almost in our head turning throughout this process? Uh, absolutely. You know, the, the, the survival experience in this movie, I think it's an essential section for telling probably, I would say, the most important thing in the story, which is this story is about a transformation, about a young woman who becomes a strong, independent woman. And, and in order to have that, you have to go through a very intense experience. And that's why the surviving process in the caves are really important for that. And I think through that journey in the caves, we can see how she's, you know, growing and she's becoming stronger and stronger. And also you see how she's kind of knowing things that she didn't know before, which is part of the coming of age, you know, concept that we love in this movie, you know. And it's also, I love, it's fun to see Robin Wright back in a fantasy movie, but where she's not the princess that we're kind of rooting for. When you guys were like figuring out casting on this stuff, is that something that was on your mind that like people are going to be looking at her in, the, in these costumes and being like, this princess Buttercup, but if she was evil. Yeah, and in, and in fact, you know, I mean, I've been a, I've been a fan of Robin, uh, you know, for many years, and and despite of that, she did such an iconic movie like uh, the Princess Bride. I, I think she also did other jobs that she is phenomenal. So to me, you know, working with Robin was a dream come true, no matter what. You know, I think she's one of the top actresses in her generation and what i love about her is always the elegance that she delivers in everything what she does you know and we needed that for the queen isabella in this movie because i really love when the villain is a smart and elegant and i think with robin you have that all the way so it, it was a pleasure and on the other hand you know to turn princess buttercup into the evil queen it's almost like a statement like hey guys, we're gonna shake you. We're gonna surprise you with things that you haven't seen before. Yeah. Yeah, and I love it. And for the last quick question, I asked Millie and Robin this earlier, but when you're doing a CGI dragon, it's always like you kind of have to picture a certain kind of dragon in your head. When you were directing, did you have a specific dragon that you were thinking of? Like Millie said she was thinking of Daenerys' dragon from Game of Thrones, but like, I was like, are were you thinking of like Pete? from Pete's Dragon, like what was kind of your imagery when you were directing? To be honest, in fact, I, I was thinking about Our Dragon because we already had the signs of Our Dragon mm -hmm. before starting the shooting. But obviously it's difficult to imagine because it's only on the, on, on the paper. You, you don't have that, you don't have a, I mean, yes, I see, I saw 3D models, but it's not the same, you know? So you have to figure out things, you have to use references in, a, in, another, in another way to think about the, the, especially for actors, you know, they have to think about something specific to convey the emotion of confronting or facing the dragon. So everything was helpful. And yes, I remember that Millie used that kind of reference from Game of Thrones to imagine that. And by the way, she did a great job because every time that she's looking at the dragon, it's real, it's happening, it's, it's there, yeah. Was it also your intention to make it very cat-like? Because I always think the dragons are cat-like, but this one especially acts like a cat. Yeah, because if you think about the environment that she's living, it's the only way, you know? She has to be some kind of feline, you know, in order to, to move around these places in a very sneaky way, you know? So, yeah, I think that was a really good inspiration for us, you know? It, precisely, we used a lioness, like a, like a reference, you know? I, I thought, because also lioness are really, you know, attached to, to, to their babies, you know? And, and that's something that we wanted, uh, knowing the story that what happened with the dragon, you know? Yeah, um, thank you so much for having me, I really love it. And I can't wait for people to get to see Damsel. Thank you so much. Thank you, have a great one. You too, bye-bye.